Hey, this is Matt. Welcome to the whiteboard. In this video, we will explore insertion sort, an algorithm so simple you already know it. When you were a kid and played poker and had a hand like this and wondered if you had a straight, you did a kind of insertion sort. You took the first card and mentally separated it into a new group. Then you started adding cards to this group. And every time you sorted the group too by swapping lower for higher cards from left to right. This swapping would go on as long as needed until the new group was sorted. So we know how this is going. Yes, you have a straight. The code for insertion sort is simple too. It's just an outer for loop and an inner while loop. The for loop keeps adding the next element to the new group. The while loop keeps swapping smaller elements to the left until it can't anymore. The swapping routine involves saving a reference to the item before the new item, then replacing that item with the new item, and vice versa. Lastly, k is decremented, and if a new k is less than k minus 1, the swapping continues. Insertion sort is great for small numbers of items, but not great for large numbers. Here's why. Imagine some joker sent you a backward sorted array like this. Insertion sort starts working away, adding, swapping, adding, and after two comparisons and swaps, four ends in the first position. Now let's add three and two. They will also end up in the beginning after also being compared and swapped with four. So the array is sorted, but the problem is four has been compared to every other item. In fact, every item has been compared to every other item. The comparisons add up quickly in everything to everything tables. In fact, the number of comparisons approaches the square of the number of items in the array. This is no big deal when n is 5. Your program can handle 25 steps. But what if we increase the number of items? So far, so good. For 100 items, we might have 10,000 comparisons, which might start to make you a bit nervous. Now let's try 100,000 items. Hmm, you should be worried because your program might blow up. 